Hello from Seoul. So many people think making Asian food at home is daunting. No, you could not be more wrong. If you have some right ingredients and a little bit of technique, that's a piece of cake. I guarantee it. All right, are you guys ready? Let's get started. Today, we're gonna be making Mongolian beef, one of the best beef dishes of all time. But let's make it with some ground beef to make it cheaper and faster. Since it's incredibly easy and delicious, you might need to delete the word takeout in your dictionary. For this, you will need ground beef, green onions, garlic, ginger, and some dried chilies. That's it! As you can see, it doesn't require a lot of ingredients, so I think you feel like you met your soulmate. Don't you? For information, I've got some Vietnamese dried chilies for some extra kick. But if you don't have it, just skip it. No problem at all. Alright, let's start off with our vegetables. First, cut some green onions into long strips. About 2 inches would be perfect. Normally, in restaurants, they only use green parts of the green onions. But we're also gonna use these white parts to infuse our oil. So make sure you thinly slice them and set them aside. Trust me, these bad boys will take you to the next level. And if you look at the green parts, some of them are hollow in the middle. So the cooking time might be a little different. So let's keep them separately like this. I know it looks kind of a hassle, but this little detail will give you a better result. Next, garlic. Smash 5 cloves of garlic and finely chop them. What? You still don't know why you should smash it? So you're just gonna grate it? Oh my god. What do you think is the biggest reason that Claire married me? Of course this is not, but it would definitely affect the taste of your dish. So please follow my lead, you won't regret it. This time, grate a small knob of ginger. We're gonna need about 2.5 teaspoons. Here, some of you might ask, Aaron, why do you use a grater instead of just chopping it with a knife? Good question. If Claire bites into that chunky ginger, I might get killed. So this is kind of my flag jacket. Know your enemy, then you will survive. Now let's make the sauce. In a small container, add 3 tablespoons of soy sauce, 2 tablespoons of sugar, 1 tablespoon of oyster sauce, 1 teaspoon of chicken bouillon powder, half a teaspoon of dark soy sauce, 1 tablespoon of corn syrup, 2 tablespoons of Shaoxing wine, and a few shakes of black pepper. Keep adding 5 tablespoons of water, 1 tablespoon of cornstarch, and give it a good mix. I know it looks quite complicated, but once you keep this ratio, you're gonna get the simplest but the most delicious Mongolian beef that you ever had. I guarantee it. Here, some of you might ask, Aaron, I don't have Shaoxing wine. What should I do? Don't worry about it. Instead of Chinese cooking wine, you can replace it with mirin or other cooking wines. What? You don't have any of them? That's okay. Then just add 2 tablespoons of water. Still gonna be good. Alright, we're set. Let's get cooking. In a wok or pan, add 1 tablespoon of oil and heat it over medium-high heat. Once it gets nice and hot, add 500 grams of ground beef and saute for 7 to 8 minutes. Make sure you break up the beef into little pieces and give it enough time to cook through. Today, I'm using ground beef because it's called Mongolian beef. But you could also use pork or chicken. No problem at all. That's just gonna be a Mongolian pork or Mongolian chicken. So just use what you have. Our beautiful sauce will take care of everything. Once the beef gets a little bit of color and most of the fat has rendered out, remove from the wok and set it aside. Now to the same pan, add 2 tablespoons of oil and place it over medium heat. Add the white parts of the green onions, garlic, ginger, and give it a good stir for about 1 minute. Here, we need to make a beautiful aromatic oil, so make sure to keep stirring it and let all the flavors infuse. Once that's done, stir in some thicker parts of the green onions, dried chilies, and stir them around for another 30 seconds. Here, if you want to make it more fancy or nutritious, you could also add some sliced bell peppers or button mushrooms. If you do, trust me, your date night dinner will be successful. 
Once your kitchen is filled with the beautiful aroma, pour in the sauce and simmer for about 1 minute. Here, some of you might ask, Aaron, why didn't you add the sauce right into the beef? I don't want to make more dishes to wash. I'm so glad you brought that up. This extra cooking step will maximize all the flavors from garlic, ginger, and green onions. Trust me, that will make a huge difference in taste. Once you try it, you will understand what I'm talking about. Alright, once the sauce thickens up a little bit, add the beef back in and give it a good stir for about 1 minute. Once everything is nice and coated and glossy, turn the heat off. And add the remaining green onions, half a tablespoon of toasted sesame oil and give it a final mix. Yes, that's right, we're just gonna let them cook in the residual heat. If you add them earlier, this poor little thing will become a mushy. And that's not gonna be pretty at all. Congratulations! Now you know the secret of how to get the beautiful Mongolian beef. You're welcome! Alright, time to assemble. Let's put some rice into a bowl and add a generous amount of our Mongolian beef. And then this is completely optional but if you want to make it look a little bit more beautiful, add some sliced chili on top. See? It's absolutely more gorgeous, right? Alright, let's call our taste tester. Claire? Mm, I can see that iconic green onions on top. <laughs> Let's give it a go. Mm, the smell is so mm. Mm. You need to get a little bit more green onion and chili pepper. Cheers. Mmm, mmm, it's delicious. 기본적으로 일단 소스가 진짜 너무 맛있네. 음, 거기에 생강이랑 마늘이랑 뭔가 잔뜩 잔뜩 들어간 게 그냥 딱 먹자마자 알겠어. 향이 그냥 속에서 미쳤어. 그냥 소스 자체가 너무 맛있네. 밥이랑 그냥 찰떡 궁합이야. 왜 이렇게 서빙하는지 알것 같아. 한입 딱. 음, 음, 음. 이 소스가 그냥 단순히 그 간장 향이 아니라 고기에서 오는 그 지방이 살짝 다 녹아져 있는 그런 느낌? 그래서 되게 묵직하고 진해. 어, 그래서 맛있어. 그래서 딱 먹는 순간 진짜 와, 이거 진짜 우마미 밤이다. 감치면 폭탄이다. 그런 느낌을 싹 받을 수 있어. 왜 위에 큼직큼직한 건고추가 다섯 개나 있어가지고 좀 매운 거 아닌가? 약간 그렇게 생각을 했었거든? 네, 전혀. 전혀 그렇지 않고. 내 생각에는 약간 소고기 지방에서 올수 있는 그 약간의 그 느끼함을 걔네가 딱잘 잡아주는 정도? 음. 그래서 매운 거못 먹는 사람도 그냥 레시피대로 그냥 다섯 개다 넣어도 괜찮을 것 같아. 충분히. 음. 단 내가 가지고 있는 그 건고추가 엄청 엄청 매운 거 아니라면 You'll be alright. Don't worry about it. <웃음> Ah, but I don't usually eat the dried chili itself. Leave it out. 아까 그린 언니는 되게 많다 그랬는데 막상 먹다 보니까 또 모자르다. 다 넣어도 될것 같다. So be super generous with this. More green onion, more delicious. Did I sound like Aaron? <laughs> Today I showed you how to make Mongolian beef. How was it? As I said earlier, it's unbelievably easy and delicious, right? With this bad boy, having a nice meal on a busy weeknight is not gonna be a problem. Plus, if you make it in bulk and keep them in the fridge with some rice and veggies, it can be a great meal prep, so that will save you so much time throughout the week. So please give this a try, that will be amazing. Alright, this is it for today, and I'll see you next time.